everyone, Emily here. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is Hair Talk. I'm here back with another Hair Talk video. For those who may not follow me, I am a professional hairstylist. I am here to tell you all about styling products, specifically the styling products that I like to use for my hair. I'm going to do a separate video on why hair products are important, where to get them from, and that kind of stuff. But I figured I would just start off with a little intro of the products that I like to use for my day-to-day -day styling that allow me to only wash my hair twice a week, usually, wash my hair twice a week and then restyle every day. We're just gonna jump right into it. If you haven't already, please subscribe. It would be so cool of you to do that. I would love for you to subscribe. That way we can just have more chats back and forth in the comments about hair and makeup and anything else that you guys wanna chat about. I'm an open book and I'm here to help educate you guys on all things beauty related. And today, of course, talking about my favorite hair products that I like to use. Also, my Instagram is MLE. Martins. I will go ahead and link that below as well. That way you can stay in touch and get to know each other a little bit better. That way you can let me know which videos you are interested in. I'm going to jump into this video and we're just going to get right into it. What I like to use to style my hair. Like I said earlier, I am a professional hairstylist and the salon that I work at carries Orbe and r and Co. And it just so happens, I really love both, honestly. It just so happens that I currently have more of the r and Co in my current hair care line that I'm using at home. And once I kind of pick something, I kind of stick with it for a while before I kind of move and exchange products because I really like to use products up before moving on to something else. Otherwise, I can just get so out of control with the amount of products that I have and it's just not good. The first thing that I go in with, I just have this cute little travel guy right now. Centerpiece is a all-in-one elixir spray. It's a detangler. It is great, just fresh out of the shower. If you are not using a detangler, what are you doing? It's really important to use a detangler spray when you're getting out of the shower, spraying from mids to ends, and then combing out starting with your ends and working your way up. I really like that because it makes my hair feel really fresh and detangled and silky smooth. Then my Bright Blonde Priming Lotion. This is what I go in with because I'm a blonde. And if you are a blonde, I definitely recommend trying this product out. It is a purple toning serum that is heat activated. I will link below. I have a whole video on this entire product line of their Bright Blonde series by Oribe. It's one you don't want to miss out on. It's a really great product. And what I do is a few pumps in my hands on damp hair. I rub it in and then I rake it through all of my hair. And then when I blow dry, it helps almost tone away a little bit of that warmth and a little bit of that brass and gives you kind of that bright, fresh blonde feeling. Definitely one that you should pick up and give a try if you're a blonde. Then I will go in with the r Co. Rhodi star thickening mousse so the nice thing about this is it's gonna give you volume and it's actually gonna thicken your hair follicle I have very 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 fine hair and so I don't get a lot of lift at the base and if you don't use products you're not gonna have any help in that department so I really like the rodeo star thickening mousse because it really thickens and gives me a little bit of grit that way if I want to do a round brush blowout to get some nice lift at the crown it'll actually have good memory to like stay so this one this one is definitely a winner in my book I really like it it gives me nice fullness and workability I guess so it gives me a lot of flexibility but also a good amount of hold then what I'll go in with is grid this is one of my newer favorites I really recently I don't know how long it's been around for but I really started using it probably the past year and what I will do is I will spray from mid shaft down on damp hair you probably want it when it's about 80% done you can use this on dry hair before you use a hot tool but, but I really like using this in my hair when it's about 80% done and then blow drying it the rest of the way in this is awesome r Co gives you heat protection in all their products but this one specifically goes up to 450 degrees for thermal heat styling which is very important especially blonde fine brittle hair I need the protection especially with heat styling as often as I do this really is a savior for me the other thing that this gives which is great in addition to the heat protection and a little bit of hold for styling is it also has like a 24-hour frizz control 
So for those of you who have really frizzy hair, this is kind of a nice thing to spray in when your hair is damp and give it a nice fresh blow dry. It's really gonna keep the frizz at bay as well. So this is a great one. And I'm also saying these in the order that I use them, if that makes sense. Then my final thing before, it's kind of like I've layered all these on my damp hair. And then before I blow dry, I go in with Mood Swing, just a couple light sprays. This is another heat protectant, but it also helps give shine, cuts down on drying time, which if you're anything like me I hate blow drying my hair so this definitely helps cut down on the time of having to blow dry it and it just really gives nourishing properties to help get your hair feeling hydrated it also has anti-humidity products in it which is also a great thing to have as well so I'll mist this probably three times throughout my hair and that's enough to kind of keep the shine and everything else looking great of course I will blow dry all of that into my hair style it how I usually like to style it which of course is with curls and then I come in with hairspray I know a lot of people don't use hairspray which still kind of baffles me that people don't I'll get into styling in general in another video your hair isn't gonna do what you want it to do without hold is the easiest way to say that and especially with me having bangs and bangs that just are really annoying me right now I just I'm so annoyed with my bangs, I think I'm over them, but I would not be able to style them every day without hairspray. I'm using the Stronghold Vicious Hairspray by r Co. I usually use their Outer Space, which is their flexible hold, but I have a bottle of this that I just essentially need to use up, so I am using the Stronghold Hairspray, and it's just nice because I can kind of hold my bangs give them a spray and this stuff literally does not move. Those I would say are my go-to products right now that I am using to style my hair. I kind of switch it up from week to week depending on what I do. This has kind of been my routine for the last little bit and like I said I'll use up a product and then get intrigued and want to try something new. It tends to be either r Co and Orbe because I really do truly stand behind those products. They're great. I'll get into specifics of why we need to use hair styling products, what kind of hair styling products we should be using where we should be buying them from. I have a whole video planned for that coming your way on another hair talk video, but I thought it would just be fun to give you a little quick breakdown of what I use in my hair for the most part every time I do a shampoo and shower you know, full shampoo hair routine. I hope you guys liked this video. Definitely subscribe. It'd be really cool if you could do that for me. Comment down below if you have any videos you want to see for the future, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.